Uh, so, gentlemen, Dean Alejandro here. Happy Thursday. I'm super excited to see you and super excited to announce March is giveaway. Um, I want to go ahead and talk about a couple things that have been happening to me the past week. As you know, um, I have been talking about it. And honestly, if I would have known um, last week when I posted a video that I was going to be going through this shit this week, I, I, I don't know. I would have like opted out of life or something, honestly. Um, full disclosure, this video for new people, it's not edited. Um, none of my content is really edited. I'm also going to be talking about some things that could be triggering um, content warning with blood, dysphoria, periods, cramps, PMSing, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Um, and I really want to start this video with saying that, did you know that guys can get their period? If not, now you do, because I am proof with it. Um, it has been fucking insane the past week. Uh, I'm just going to kind of explain what has been going on. So Friday night at around 11 p.m. Sorry, my cat is like meowing and like climbing on my legs and shit. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. You always want attention. Um, I guess before I go into explaining what has happened or has, what's been going on, I do want to give a shout out to a new follower, Gab, on Instagram. Shout out to you for sure and for reaching out when you did. It meant a lot to me. Um, and really just shout out to all the people that have been supportive through my physical pain, my mental pain, and everything that I have been going through the past week because it has been fucking insane, honestly. Um, and I really didn't want to post a video about what's been happening, but there's not that many resources out there. So here we are again with me talking about stuff that I've been going through um, just to explain that, hey, if it does happen to you, you're not crazy and you're not alone because sometimes it feels that way. So, I guess I'll keep holding you. You can steal the show because you're much cuter than talking about what's happening or what's been happening. So, um, where was I? Uh, last Friday, I woke up at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. Yes, I go to sleep early. I am an old man. Um, I like to sleep and I wake up early sometimes. So, I woke up at 10 o'clock at night uh, from some very serious stomach pain extreme stomach pain this is gonna get graphic I'm not gonna hold back I'm um, sorry if it's TMI it happens so I woke up with some extreme extreme stomach pain cramps nauseousness like I felt like I had like a boulder kind of in my stomach right um and a little bit of backstory if you're new here I have been on hormones testosterone injections it's changed frequency but it's been about probably like two and a half years now right uh, and I bled, I had my period one time, my first month, and I bled for like a day or so. Now, other than that, I've had a lot of other problems, not really problems, but I have PCOS, so the testosterone together with that, it causes some issues. I mean, prior to starting testosterone, I had sporadic periods, and I even had to take birth control and stuff to kind of regulate that. I would have a sporadic period. It wouldn't happen the same time every month. I would have extreme pain, extreme cramps, um, but it was very sporadic. And I've had cysts in my ovaries. I'm not sure if they've ever ruptured. I've had sonograms with it, blah, 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 blah. I basically got diagnosed with that about eight or nine years ago, whatever. So starting testosterone, we know that there are some issues and now everyone's story is different. So again, I'm explaining my story and my experience with what has been happening, completely candid. It is what it is. Um, so when I started taking testosterone, you know, they told me about my cyst and my period and testosterone could basically stop it completely or it could not. We don't know. Honestly, let's be real. Every single person's story is different. Everyone's medical provider is different. Everyone's medical provider says different things unless they're trans themselves and have gone through it. They don't fucking know. We're kind of just hiccuping through the experience to figure out what's going on. Um, so I didn't really know what to expect. So my first month I started bleeding, whatever. And that was fucking a catastrophe. I had extreme pain, whatever. This was two and a half years ago. So now I wake up Friday night at 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, extreme pain. I am in the bathroom. I shit you not <laughs> for like two or three hours. And I have, I'm bloated, like completely bloated. I have extreme like, it's probably TMI, diarrhea, 
I am bleeding. Um, and at first, cause I was literally like shitting my brains out and it was just like liquid, like liquid blood. And I was like, what is going on? Like, am I dying? Like, I'm literally like thinking like, oh my God, like what, what is happening right now? Like, I don't know, like this is kind of terrifying. Right. And I thought I was just kind of like shitting out blood, like whatever. And I had some weird stomach thing. Right. But I was cramping a lot, like cramping and it was like pulsing. So I was like, this is kind of weird. Um, and then I realized after being in there for quite a bit that I was also spotting. Now, without sparing so many of the details and painting too much of a picture, um, I ended up blacking out. The pain was so excruciating. I kind of ripped off all my clothes. I was in a deep sweat uh, and I was in extreme pain and I blacked out right there on the bathroom floor. Um, I kind of came to about 10 minutes later and I peeled myself up. My dog was pacing back and forth, nudging on the bathroom door. Mind you, my wife was sleeping because she had to work in the morning. Um, and I peeled myself up. And at this point in time, I'm freezing now. I went from my deep sweat. I'm freezing. And I just wanted to sleep. I was tired. I was in pain. I was already in the bathroom for like an hour or two, like just like sitting there, like literally dying. Um, and I basically crawled to the couch and I just laid there for like 10 minutes because I couldn't go back to bed. I didn't have the physical strength to, um, and I then after 10 minutes of laying on the couch, I went back to the bathroom and I was basically started dry heaving from the pain, trying to go to the bathroom because I didn't know if it was some digestible thing, whatever. Anyway, so this happened all night. Um, and the ironic part about it is that the afternoon prior, I felt so bloated and I had, I had even said to my wife, Hey, are you on your period or have you started your period? Because I'm getting weird like symptoms because sometimes when she's having her period, I will have the symptoms, the physical symptoms or the emotional symptoms, but I won't actually be bleeding. Right. So the fact that I started bleeding started freaking me out because I'm over two years on hormones and that's not really good you know after you're on hormones for so long like bad shit starts happening now luckily I am starting the process of scheduling a hysterectomy because they say after being on two years of hormones that you can basically start a lot of spasms a lot of cramps a lot of issues right and I don't know like I said I'm hiccuping through it um so that happened the first night and this has that was Friday of last week this has continued to happen almost every single day, minus the shitting and all that crap. Um, I went to work Sunday, right? Sunday morning. And it's all happening like right in the morning. Same thing. Bunch of abdominal pain, cramping, like blacking out. Um, I went to work Saturday or excuse me, Sunday morning and I thought I was okay. And then same thing happened after doing some physical activity because my job is very physical. Um, I, I, passed out. I started dry heaving. I got really hot. I got really cold. I was pale. Someone was like, you look like shit. And I'm like, yeah, like I can't tell you like, Hey, by the way, I'm on my period and I only get it like once a year. Um, and all the symptoms are very backed up, you know? So I basically left work early Sunday, went in Monday, got sent home because I, I couldn't do anything. And I've been kind of out of work since. So this has been a little concerning because, um, with all the coronavirus and stuff that's happening, I've also kind of been dealing with shit with my job and about them wanting to take away my full-time status, AKA my medical benefits. Um, so they know I have pre-existing issues and it has kind of been really struggling. Luckily, the doctor that I have right now is super great and she, I wanted to take an extra precaution and say, hey, can you please just let my job know that I have a pre-existing condition that happens, it flares up every six months to a year and can we work something out? Because I want them to know that I'm not contagious, but I also don't want to out myself because the pain had gotten so bad that my doctor basically said, you need to go to the ER. You need to go to an urgent care or an ER or something. And I said, I can't, like I... I can't. I'm not out. I'm stealth in my town. If they find out, I, I could lose my job. I could lose a lot of things, my family safety. And it's really shitty that we have to kind of put our health on the back burner, which I feel like this is an ongoing conversation that we keep having. having. Um, and I freaked out. I was like, I can't. So for extra precautions, I got a letter just in case to give to my job, whatever the fuck. Um, and I've kind of been going through that. So Every single day at about six o'clock in the morning, I have been having extreme pains. 
Um, and it's been lasting all day. I can't move. I, it's a miracle right now that I can, I can stand up. I've been walking like this. Um, and yesterday was the first day in a whole week that it actually started getting better. So I was like, yay, I can finally go back to work because I've been waking up every morning thinking I'm going to go in and then I'm sitting there getting the sweats, doing everything. And I know that I'm not a good asset and they're, I'm not going to do the jobs that they want me to do. Thus for disappointing them and getting reprimanded for it. So it's just easier for me to stay clear and stay home and try to get better. Until I wake up this morning at two in the morning and I am back at it again. I woke up. I felt like I had a bowling ball in my stomach. Um, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do anything. I woke up, went to the bathroom and I started puking my brains out because of the pain. Same shit happening. Cold sweats. Um, the difference today has been, I feel more so and it's kind of sporadic. I can feel my ovaries. These are, my nipples are going to be my ovaries because I'm not like, all the way there. I just feel I'm like pulsing, like throbbing. Um, I've been, so I've been really struggling, needless to say. I am stir crazy. I am tired of being hot and cold. I am tired of sweating. I think I'm almost at the end of this whole thing. Um, but it's clear to say that I am on my period. I, it's just a phantom. It's like a fucking ghost, like invisible, like, haha, I'm going to haunt you with all of your symptoms and all of your shit but I'm not actually going to be there. So it kind of helps, I guess, with the dysphoria of like not bleeding, um, especially because if I was bleeding, I really have no way of think how to deal with that because my atrophy um, is so bad that I, and that's a whole other story that I can get into. If you are interested, let me know. Otherwise, I won't be talking about all the downstairs compartment issues. Um, but it's been a struggle. I, nothing is helping. Ibuprofen is not helping. I've been showering or using like hot pads like down there. Um, not like down there, but like all my ovaries. And I literally feel like I have cysts that are rupturing or kidney stones, which I assume would be passing, which is equivalent to fucking cysts rupturing. So I am hoping that this is the end of it. I am hoping that I'll be able to get a hysterectomy soon. I put it on the back burner because it wasn't a priority. Um, and now I'm just really glad that I'm able to kind of go through with the scheduling. I should be having my phone call interview tomorrow or next week, um, with that. And it's kind of going to be the hysterectomy and bottom surgery, but right now I am more focused on my health. I cannot live like this. I am miserable. I am depressed. It is coming in waves and it's really hard to deal with. So I wanted to put this video out there to show again, the vulnerability and visibility that, Hey, trans guys, have periods. Hey, non-binary people, they have periods. Hey, sometimes if you're not bleeding, you still have those symptoms. Um, sometimes you have invisible illnesses and people don't understand. It's not your job to explain anything to them. I have had no energy and that was a big reason why I couldn't go into work because I can't fake a smile. I can't go in. It takes everything in me to talk, honestly. Um, the only thing I did find though, luckily that has been helping is luckily I live in Colorado and edibles that has helped if I take just enough. So I'm not like high, it just kind of curves a little bit. Um, shout out to my wife who just left work on her break for lunch and went and hooked me up because I was in the same spot for almost like 15 hours. I can't move, can't do anything pretty miserable. Um, so yeah, that's kind of been what's going on with me. I do want to go ahead and get into the giveaway details. I know a lot of you are going to really skip it till the end, but whatever. If y'all want to know, it's it's here. So uh, this year, I mean, this month of March, I'm going to be giving away two GC2B binders. As you know, it's going to be any size, any color, either a half or a full. It's going to be shipped directly from GC2B to you. They will be sending you the tracking, all the information. It is worldwide. Now, if you are out of the country, there might be some um, custom fees or something that's applicable, but they will communicate that with you. So this is a great opportunity if you need one or if you know someone in need to take advantage of this for free. Uh, if not, no worries. There is still going to be a giveaway next month and the month after and ongoing until December of 2020. So if you want to enter, it's super easy. Um, this month, it's going to be a little bit different as they all are. 
first, all you have to do is um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which you should be because you're here right now, right? Um, and the second thing you have to do is you have to follow me on Instagram. Make sure you take screenshots ugh, screenshots of following me on Instagram and also YouTube just so I can see that all together and it just makes it a lot easier for everyone who's entering. Now, a little bit different for this month. So in order for you to be eligible, um, what you have to do is, like I said, Con or subscribe to YouTube and on Instagram. Well, I guess follow on Instagram, whatever. And then um, I have a couple different playlists on here. I want you to go ahead and I want you to check them out. Just watch different ones. Um, and I want you to, out of all of them, I want you to comment which playlist, comment right here on YouTube, uh, which, which playlist is your favorite out of all of them. Just type the title of it. And if you if you want for an extra credit, like an extra entry for it, um, I want you to go ahead and type a video from that playlist that you like, or I don't know, you want to see more of or anything. And if you want an extra, extra entry, um, tell me why. So you can do that for multiple playlists, uh, multiple entries. So you have a total of at least three entries per entry for here. Just like I said, please make sure that you send me the proof on Instagram so I can see that. And if you want additional entries, all you have to do is do that multiple times. Of course, I'm more than happy to clarify. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to me either on YouTube or on Instagram or on Facebook, of course. Um, I'm actually having a second wave of cramps right now. I am feeling it. I'm about to die. I'm starting to sweat. Um, so yeah, if you are new here and you don't win the binder giveaway for this month, it's okay. There will be one next month. I will be announcing the winners on YouTube in a couple of weeks. And, you know, I'll keep you updated. I love all of you. See you later.